okay guys i see you see this background but i'm changing right now i'm doing a photo shoot for my friend peep the makeup peep the hair so stay tuned it's about to be bomb hey guys welcome to my channel okay so today's video is going to be slightly different i decided to show you guys a hair video slash vlog my friend wanted me to do passion twist for her photo shoot and i'm like i got you girl i already have a passion twist tutorial on my channel but for this video i wanted to try a different method and every time i try something different with my hair i always share it with you guys plus i wanted to share with you guys my photo shoot experience so if you stay tuned to see the results of my hair and how my day went as you guys can see, I'm using the same type of hair and two pieces of hair, just a different method. So what I'm doing is taking that piece of hair and putting it up underneath those two pieces, as you can see. And then what I'll start doing is twisting this piece of my hair and the hair and just keep twisting and twisting and twisting until I know that side is secure. And then the piece of hair that I'm holding with my right hand, I'll just wrap that over that piece that I twisted already and just do the same exact thing and just keep twisting and twisting and start gradually twisting down until I know that it's secure on my root. I know I'm bad at explaining things, but at least it's a little self-explanatory in the video and you guys can kind of make out what I'm doing by yourself. <laughs> but I love this way a little bit different because the other way that you guys seen on my previous video in the Passion Twist tutorial, I did the rubber band method with the crochet. And if you're anything like me and you're hands is hard to grip certain things you're like okay let me try this way so I can do a hairstyle but I didn't like the rubber band method because I noticed that at the top it was a little bulky and it was longer to do and it was harder to take out my hair was tangled and I just said you know what I'm gonna just try to to work my way and do this method and i love this method better it doesn't take long and i'm pretty sure once it's time to take this out it would not be as hard like i said my favorite part of this it doesn't take long i actually finished this day with the passion twist it took me two days to do with the rubber band method because you have to rubber band each piece of your hair each section then go back and crochet, whatever, how you do it. I don't care for it. <laughs> it's just easier for someone who doesn't know how to grip your hair. So yeah, that's for you. Not for me. <laughs> like I said, I love this way much better. you guys earlier this method is so much easier like i'm almost done like <laughs> usually it'll take me hours going into the next day but i'm super excited so last time i was like you know what i'm never doing passion twists again but like i said this method was so much easier and since i'm almost done i'm like hey i can knock this out and the more i try this method i'm pretty sure the next time i do it it'll probably be a little bit quicker too since I'm at the top of my hair, I did want to show you guys a little bit more close up of what I'm doing. I know I explained a couple of times and I know you've seen it throughout the video, but this is just a closer look of what I'm doing. And like I said, the video is self-explanatory. I'm not the best at explaining anything, but I do hope this video shows you the methods that I'm doing. I'm pretty sure people have seen this method, done this method, but there are girls out there like me that have a harder time with gripping the hair and your hair and it probably slips out so like i said i hope this video is self-explanatory and i explained this the best way i could and please don't give up hope if you are one of those 
girls that cannot grip too well. So there is hope for you. So I'm finished with this style. It took me about eight hours to do compared to last time. It took me two days to do. So like I said, this method is the, for the win. It's so much better. And I would definitely try this method again. And as you can see, guys, I'm finishing up, putting on my lolly body mousse just to add in the moisture to this hair. Okay guys, so it is the next day. As you can see, I have my makeup done. I did my hair on Friday. Today is Saturday, the day of the photo shoot. I didn't want to record myself getting my makeup done because some professionals are iffy about that. So I decided to not do it and just kind of show you guys gradually of my day.
That's the one. Okay, guys. So this is a wrap for this video. I do thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you would love to see more vlogs and more of me, please leave me a comment below and I'll definitely do that for you guys. But like I said, I do thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more videos.